Can you hear us? Over all these trucks. That's like the governor said, that's money. <laughs> I want to thank you. It's a, my privilege to welcome everyone here today to celebrate the kickoff of our acceleration of the widening of I-26 project. On behalf of the South Carolina Department of Transportation and all of my fellow commissioners, I thank you for being here with us today. I want to be sure to welcome a few of our honored guests. <clears throat> we have Governor McMaster, Speaker Smith, <laughs> Chairman Grooms, Senator Adams, Senator Stevens, Senator Bennett, Representative Erickson, Representative Jefferson, and Representative Bobby Robbins. I'm familiar with him. <laughs> All right, at this time, I got one commissioner here. I, won't, I don't want to miss him. He told me I was going about to mess up, but I ain't. Commissioner Fishburne, thank you for being here, Commissioner. All right, at this time, it's, uh, it's a privilege for me to introduce the governor of this great state, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you, thank you. This is louder than I thought it was going to be. God. I guess we had to have this right here, didn't we? <laughs> All right, I'll be real. I'll be real quick. This, uh, as you know, this project I-26 Charleston to Columbia widening is ahead of schedule. This is six miles, I think, Ms. Hall. Uh, 218 million dollars replacing four bridges including the 27 overpass. Also, we're working, Christy Hall's working on Little Mountain, from Little Mountain to Irmo, and all this is ahead of schedule. And it's, it, it's just, it's cause we just booming. We, we have never shut down. We didn't shut down in the pandemic. We, this is a state where we believe in business. We can't do anything without it. And we never will shut down. And because of that, the good news is this, in uh, 2020, we, we're booming. We have a budget surplus this year. I got to say, uh, Speaker, now Speaker Merle Smith, he used to be Chairman Merle Smith, and he got all this done. I, ca I can't wait to see what you could do as Speaker. We're going to have to really buckle up because there's more and more progress. But uh, in 2021, I've announced three billion dollars in capital investment and over seven thousand almost eight thousand new jobs and in the last six years twenty billion in capital investment and that brought sixty six new six six thousand and those are just the jobs that came with the investment not to count whatever else came along but also we put uh, with under smith uh, then chairman smith's leadership we put over nine hundred million into water and sewer 450 million into broadband. Uh, the port is deep and getting deeper, and that's one reason you see all these trucks coming by. But in a nutshell, this is just this is the product and the result of vision, common sense, talent, and determination by the people that are, that are here today. And commerce is thriving in South Carolina, and really, I, there's there really no no end in sight. We're doing it right. And I believe, according to the just looking at the figures, not what you see with your eyes, but look at the figures, we're entering a, an era, a great new era of economic prosperity uh, that we haven't seen before. And I would say to, to the folks, if anytime you look out the window and you see Christy Hall walking around the road, you better call in the dogs and the chickens because your road's getting ready to get widened. <laughs> So I am very happy to be here, and in the words of that famous philosopher, Larry, the cable guy, we'll get her done. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. We appreciate that. At this time, I want to ask Senator Grooms if he'll come up and speak. I guess I'm Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Governor, thank you for being here. House members, Senate members, distinguished guests. This is 
is a wonderful day in South Carolina. It's a particularly wonderful day here in Berkeley County where we're going to widen I-26 finally. The quality of life and the standard of living of the people around here is important to all of us. And these rivers of commerce, they've been clogged for a while. And we're about to unclog it. We're about to unclog it. We're going to let the rivers of commerce flow. And we are going to increase the quality of life and the standard of living for the people around here. And that's what we're about, making South Carolina a better place, not only for our families, but for future generations. And this is a generational investment. Many of us had the forethought a few years ago when we passed the infrastructure funding mechanism. We intended to widen I-26. And lo and behold, we've now found a way to accelerate that widening. And I want to thank those who are responsible for it, particularly Secretary Christy Hall for laying out our 10-year plan and to ensure that we continue to finish our 10-year plan. And it's something that we're going to get it done a lot quicker than 10 years. But anyway, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you everyone for being here and let's go. Thank you, Senator Groves, for that. At this time, I want to invite Speaker Smith to come up, say a few words. Thank you, Gene, and it's a pleasure to be with you all today, and this is a momentous day, as you've heard, and it's something that's important to the state of South Carolina, and I'm thrilled to be at this kickoff. This is a culmination of a lot of hard work and dedication over the years, and and Governor, I want to thank you, as I'm doing routinely these days, but thank you for your leadership. As you know, Governor McMaster is a leader who brings people together and provides and works towards solutions, doesn't work towards his own interests, but works what's, what's best for South Carolina. And Governor, I'm going to have to tell you this story, and, and Secretary Hall, you probably remember this well. You know, this past year we had about a $2 billion surplus to start off this year. And a couple of years ago we had a couple hundred million dollar surplus. And we thought this was a wonderful day in South Carolina to have surpluses. We hadn't been used to that over the years. And I brought Secretary Hall in and her team into our, my office when I was chairman of the Ways and Means Committee and said, uh, Secretary, we'd like to do something for roads, to help roads, and could you please help us come up with some ideas. She asked for a little bit of time. She wanted to come back. She came back and saw me, Governor, and she said, what we want to do is we think that we could accelerate the widening of I-26 over these next few years so we would make that suggestion. So me and my staff got together, Governor, and we said, there's no way that the entire General Assembly is going to support widening of I-26 in Berkeley and Dorchester County. There are 44 other counties across the state, so we're just not going to be able to do that. Well, lo and behold, you followed up a couple of months later and had a press conference and, and announced this idea with our ARPA funding, and here we are today. So, Governor, you are a heck of a salesman because you convinced the General Assembly something that I couldn't do over there. So. I uh, appreciate your leadership. Guys, this is a big, big day for South Carolina. This is those of us who see the commerce and Senator Grooms, as you talked about, the rivers of commerce flowing through here, have you have become accustomed to being these being clogged over the years. And this is the first step in unclogging this pipeline that feeds the economy in South Carolina. So it is a great day for us to be here. We had historic investments over this past few years in, into uh, our, our infrastructure, into DOT, and this year was, was probably the most uh, transformative investment that we've had over the years. And Secretary Hall, I thank you and I thank your leadership and your team at the Department of Transportation because the days now we have partnerships. And, and the first investment we've ever made, and Governor, with your support, and Senator Grooms, Chairman Grooms, with your support, we made our first investment of recurring dollars into our Department of Transportation. And what did you return us? You returned us almost $200 million by drawing that down. So the future's bright. 
We're just beginning here in South Carolina. It's taken us a while, but our roads, our infrastructure are going to be first class and it's going to continue to drive this economy in South Carolina. So I'm proud to be a part of this and proud to be part of Team South Carolina. So thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Smith. My paper blowed away. <laughs> At this time, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce Sarah Hazard from the South Carolina Manufacturing Alliance. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Sarah Hazard and I'm President and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturers Alliance. You know, manufacturing is a key driver of our state's economy having an estimated annual economic impact of over $200 billion. We have over 5,000 manufacturers that call South Carolina home. And in order to maintain and grow their businesses and meet the demands of their customers, manufacturers must have the ability to effectively move raw materials and ship finished products to market. As manufacturers continue to confront and tackle global supply chain disruptions, it is more important than ever for South Carolina to improve and modernize our state's transportation infrastructure system, which is critical to manufacturers' success. And that's why today's announcement of the progress the state is making to improve I-26 is so vital. Strong and reliable infrastructure that helps connect our communities, move products efficiently, and facilitates commerce paves a road to success for all of South Carolina. We applaud Government Master, Speaker Smith, Senator Grooms, and other legislative leaders for recognizing the value of making investments in infrastructure and the positive impact this will have for all of our state. And also thank you to Secretary Hall for all of your leadership and dedication and hard work to our state as well. Thank you. Right, we'll move right along. Next, I would like to invite Bob Morgan from the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce up to the podium. Good morning. South Carolina is the 10th fastest growing state in our country. And that growth raises the question, how are we going to move people and product in and through our region such that we remain successful and maintain the strong pro-business environment that we enjoy today. The answer is we need to invest in a comprehensive transportation infrastructure and a big part of that answer is what we're here to celebrate today. This will help companies address the supply chain challenges that are so critical. It will help them get product to market faster. It will help all companies who enjoy the river, uh, rivers of commerce uh, here and elsewhere in our state. We would like to thank the, the South Carolina Department of Transportation, Mr. Madam Secretary, you and your team. We'd like to thank all the members of the State House who've helped to make this happen. Governor McMaster, we thank you for your steadfast leadership throughout the state, ensuring that we do make comprehensive infrastructure investments so that we continue to grow. We're pleased to be a part of this uh, announcement today. We look forward to being part of a ribbon cutting uh, very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next on the agenda we have Rick Todd. He's with the Trucking Association. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. I don't know what y'all are complaining about. This, uh, this cacophony is a symphony of the asphalt jungle that we all uh, live and breathe by. Uh, and I think you've been hearing the, the toots of appreciation for what's going on today. So. Uh, let's let's keep it going. Fix 26. Fix I 26 has been the hue and cry for years. Uh, this route is literally the the central nervous system of the state of South Carolina for tourism, for commerce, and increasingly commuters. 
Um, the state's budget writers, uh, beginning with Speaker Smith, uh, are pressed, as you can imagine, with every want, every need, and they have to prioritize on a statewide basis the use of limited resources. Uh, we got lucky. The stars kind of lined up the last year or two to enable this, and we're grateful for it. Uh, the one constant with this legislature and with Governor McMaster has been a laser-like focus on prioritizing, uh, improving the state's roads and bridges. Uh, the South Carolina Trucking Association is a 90-year-old alliance of businesses that use and depend on trucks and their drivers. So it's a particular privilege uh, to participate today with our leaders as we accelerate the expansion and the improvement of this critical corridor. You know, in today's hyper-competitive global economy, successful commercial interests have had to master basic logistics. For the last couple of years, like never before, consumers have had to feel the pain of a pinched supply chain, and that pain has been felt in the form of shortages, waiting, and cost. Because trucks make up every other link in the supply chain, any kink in it is going to impact that truck link. These last few years, our leaders have prioritized and dedicated, like it's been said, generational investments but also in the in port facilities, in the, and they fortified the shipping channel. And these commercial gateways to the world and everything of it must also have world-class highway channels. These public facilities must be dynamic and improving uh, directly uh, and timed-wise in proportion to the economic, the social, and the technological demand. Uh, and only the government can do this. The major factors that have always driven I-26 are the waves of international shipping aided in, in, uh, by the evolution of the now ubiquitous international shipping container. These boxes which opened up unlimited markets, goods, and potential. Uh, the tide of advancing industrialization of all kinds uh, the corresponding deployment of a huge warehousing uh, distribution center sector, uh, the relentless surge of westward, northern, and southern development, uh, and nowhere is this more evident than around here. And of course, the beach. Uh, so like always, it's land in close proximity to a port, to an airport, to railroads, population centers, all fed by trucks. Those in that fundamentally essential business of trucking freight and services, our supply chain soldiers, uh, see this project as another step by Governor McMaster and the leaders of our General Assembly, uh, with particularly dogged determination around here by Senator Larry Grooms, who's chairman of the Transportation Committee. Uh, to prioritize our jobs producing economy. Modernizing I-26 will all increase safety, efficiency, and velocity. Safety is paramount. Trucks and their drivers face risks, hazards, and liability generally beyond their control. This will help our transportation distribution and logistics sectors thrive on efficiency, efficient use of time, equipment, and fuel, all of which is very costly. So when this corridor opens up and spreads out, that velocity will become even greater. And that is the competitive advantage and the quality of life improvement that our leaders are investing in. So we feel good about DOT. Uh, we recognize and appreciate the best-in-class leadership of and the expertise within that agency. Uh, they are responding with methodical, accountable work, managing unprecedented amounts of funding and support, and big projects like this all across the state. Uh, the expansion and modernization of this 26 corridor from here and eventually up through Malfunction Junction. Before you get to that, the improvement to the interchange at I-95 and on up 
to the upstate is a massive undertaking and we have confidence in the, all of the stewardship that you see here today. Uh, so we're very proud and appreciative of the fiscally prudent, commercially focused budget and policy leadership that we're blessed with in South Carolina. Uh, they have put new money, one-time money, where we've asked them to do it. So in the meantime, uh, we urge all drivers to be patient, extra cautious in these numerous and expanding construction zones and around all of these trucks. There's a lot of work to do and every single bit of it is done by people with a truck. Thank you. All right, we get toward the end of the program. Uh, this next lady's gonna speak. I'm gonna say a few words about her because she's good at her job. <laughs> Don't you go nowhere. If, if you ever listened to her before, any of her speeches, she's always talked about the team. It's teamwork. You're gonna hear that, you're probably gonna hear that today. But I just wanna let you know, it is teamwork, but she's the quarterback. She keeps it going, and I just, it's great. She does a great job, and uh, she keeps the commission straight, and she keeps everybody straight. But thank you for your work. Christy Hall. Well, good morning, everybody. Governor McMaster, Speaker Smith, Chairman Grooms, Chair Lady Erickson, thank you for being here. Commissioners, legislators, distinguished guests, thank you all so very much for being here today as we launch the accelerated widening of the 70 miles of I-26 between Charleston and Columbia. I-26 was built more than 60 years ago, 60 years ago. Since that time, traffic has increased and this 70 mile long segment of South Carolina's interstate network has at times become plagued with congestion, delays, and accidents. I-26 carries more than 22 million vehicles per year, Governor. I'd say 7 million or at least are trucks, judged by the traffic today. That 22 million uh, vehicles per year is a combination of trucks, uh, commuters trying to get to and from work on a daily basis, tourists, and families traveling throughout this corridor on their daily activities. And that number has grown by more than 30% just over the past decade alone. And I believe it's likely poised to increase even more as more and more people realize just what a great place our state is to live and work. I-26, as you heard Rick Todd mention, is a major, and I mean major, freight corridor in our state. And we must do our part to ensure that trucks are able to make their timely deliveries in order to keep our businesses, Sarah, as you mentioned, and our manufacturers thriving. Our manufacturers depend, absolutely depend, on a functioning interstate system to bring materials into their facilities and deliver finished products out to our magnificent port for export. It is for these reasons and more that the nearly two billion dollars that we intend to invest on the widening of I-26 between Charleston and Columbia has been and will remain a top priority for the Department of Transportation. Our initial plan for widening of that 70 miles was to push the project along in just a few segments every so many years all the way out until 2034. 2034. That's a long time. When Governor McMaster asked about the possibility of accelerating some road, important road projects, and in particular, what our next priority would be, the answer, as Speaker Smith said, was easy. 
you always look at what your priorities are. You don't reshuffle priorities. You look at what they are and see what you can accelerate, and that's exactly what we did. So the use of that one-time funding is slingshotting this project ahead by at least six years, and I believe we're probably going to beat that. So when that question was asked, I was absolutely thrilled, as, as well as my team was, at the opportunity to really make that transformative investment and deliver a very meaningful project, not only for this region of the state, but for the state as a whole. As I mentioned to Chairman Smith just a few minutes ago, teamwork really does make the dream work, and this is a great example of collaboration at all levels to deliver something meaningful for the people of South Carolina. I'd like to personally thank the governor for your leadership and your recognition that using one-time funding to accelerate critical infrastructure projects is not only a good investment, but it will continue to accelerate the growth of our state's economy and improve the quality of life for the citizens of our state. Mr. Speaker, Chair Lady Erickson, Chairman Grooms, and other members of the General Assembly, I also want to relay to you my deepest gratitude to you as well. You recognize the transformative opportunity before you and did not hesitate to get on board with an accelerated plan to fix I-26. Thank you for dedicating a total of $600 million and and one-time funding to accelerate the widening of our rural interstates, including this very portion of I-26 that we're here today. This initial $218 million project that we're launching today is actually seven miles in length, Governor, so we've added another mile to it. Uh, and it stretches between Jedburg Road and SC-27. And it's designed to help alleviate traffic flow uh, and help support the growth that's occurring in this uh, fast-growing region of our state and Rick Todd as you mentioned to improve safety by widening the interstate to three lanes in each direction for for a total of six lanes modernizing and upgrading the SC 27 interchange which is seeing a explosion in development up in that area and we're also going to replace several bridges throughout the project corridor I'm pleased to announce that Banks Construction, Reed Banks is with us here today. They're a road construction company located right here in the Charleston area. They will be building the project for us. They have also pledged that approximately $13 million of the work will be done by small and minority owned businesses located right here in South Carolina. We're not stopping there. Not only is this project being built by South Carolina firms, but the overwhelming majority of the materials that will go into building this magnificent interstate will be sourced right here from South Carolina. Concrete, steel, asphalt, rock, cement, all of that's homegrown and is amplifying the economic impact of just a single road project. Think about that, the ramifications of what that investment does to our economy. Our road and bridge builders have responded to our dramatically increased highway program statewide by matching us and ramping up their work capacity and uh, delivery of the road projects on time and on budget. Our annual program has grown from about one billion dollars many years ago to nearly four billion dollars today and I expect it to continue to grow as we push more and more interstate work and bridge work, safety projects, and other much needed infrastructure work to contract all across our state. As a matter of fact, not only are we here today to celebrate the start of work on this section of I-26, but next year, next calendar year, we're going to also push out another roughly $600 million in more work on I-26 between Columbia and Charleston. A widening project coming down from the Columbia side, so we'll, we'll work back and forth between Charleston and Columbia. So more widening on the Columbia end to complement this widening, 
and then we're going to jump right to the 9526 interchange and upgrade that uh, to, to ready it to receive the widening coming up. So to say we're booming is really an understatement. Now's a great time to be in infrastructure and in the road business. Uh, if, if you're passionate about mobility and uh, uh, delivering results in a timely and ex expedited basis, this is where you want to be. So as you can see, we have responded to the call of our governor and the legislature by putting the pedal to the metal. We received final legislative approval for the funding dedicated to this project at the end of June. June 2022, just a few months ago, within 30 days of getting that authorization, we had a contract out to bid. So we turned it around. We didn't let it dot, the funding sit idly. We put it right out. We put it right out to market to get our contractors on board. And again, I'm thankful that Reed Banks and team uh, were the uh, winning bid on the project. So 30 days after authorization, we had it out to bid, and we awarded, just awarded the contract, just signed the contract with Banks Construction to get this work started. So let's get started. Governor, would you please join me at the podium, and if you'll turn your attention to the heavy equipment in the median, I'm going to ask the governor to give the command to begin work. Christy, as I do that, I'd like one more thank you to the 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians who are paying their taxes and sending it in so we can build roads with it. So thank you to them. Hit it, brother. <laughs> 